Hey, what is going on guys? It's Nova here, and in today's video I'll be teaching you how to hook up a VPN on your RGH or retail console. It doesn't really matter if your console is modified, but I'm still going to call this JTAG tutorial number 4. Um, even though you don't really, this works for all consoles, you can use this on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, whatever you're playing, um, you can use this. So uh, don't feel like you have to um, uh, have a modified console to have a VPN on and stay protected while you're playing online. Now you're just going to need a couple of things today um, to do this. Um, now the method a lot of people use, and uh, give me a second, I'm just going to open up my uh, Google Chrome. I have the uh, dual monitor uh, going on right now, so if you see me uh, go over to the other monitor, that's why. If you go over to uh, YouTube here, and you search uh, how to hook up, uh, how to hook up. A VPN to your RGH. Sorry, I'm blurring that. Um, I just don't I want you guys knowing what I'm searching. Uh, anywho, so uh, as you can see, if we go through here, uh, we have this VPN. All these videos are showing you how to do it with a Ethernet. Um, this one says you can do it this method, but I've tried it. It doesn't work. And even if this did work, it would be complete and utter crap. You'd be disconnecting all the time. Um, mainly just the method. Doing it through CMD is not a way you want to do it. Um, but yeah, uh, DDoS deflect, that's not a thing anymore. Uh, Ethernet again. So you guys get the point. So uh, Ethernet um, sometimes doesn't work. Um, what I mean by that is uh, on my consoles, for some reason, I don't know if it's my computer or whatnot, but I just cannot hook up a VPN from an Ethernet to my console. My console gets MTU uh, errors, IP error, D, uh, errors, DNS errors, just error after error. Um, I've used multiple VPNs. I've used BetterNet. That was one I tried. I've tried CyberGhost. I've tried PureVPN. Um, none of them worked uh, until I found this method. And then I was like, all right, this is going to be pretty sweet. Let's try this, right? And it worked. And, you know, I can still use all my mod tools and everything. And everything works fine. So this is the method I will suggest to any modder that cannot uh, hook up their VPN through Ethernet. And if uh, you haven't tried it, all you have to do is, uh, where is my toolbar? Over here. Oh, God. Uh, you just right click on your uh, little Wi-Fi icon, hit open network and sharing center, then uh, open uh, change adapter settings, and then you'll have these, you'll have your wireless network uh, connection, and then you'll have your uh, VPN adapter from whatever VPN you're running. Uh, and then you'll have one over here, which won't be called Xbox 360, it'll be called Local Area Connection 1 or something like this. And uh, all you do is, uh, once you connect to your VPN, this uh, little red box will change and it'll start looking like this. There won't be uh, any uh, cross on it. All you have to do is right click on your VPN connection, hit properties, and then uh, on the uh, VPN client adapter properties, go over to sharing allow other home uh, networks or allow other network users to connect through this computer and then click on that and then click uh, Xbox 360 or uh, whatever it's named to and that will or, and that's how you do it right so uh, yeah, that's all good that's how you do it through Ethernet so try doing it through Ethernet um, if it does not work uh, you can come back and do it this method because this is the method I had to do uh, so you're just going to need two things. You're going to need a uh, version of Connectify. Why did that all move? Come on, go back. No, you don't want to? That's cool. All right. So you can get Connectify free. This is a paid service, but they're, they have a free version that they don't really advertise, mainly because they don't want people getting it for free, and it's not illegal. All you have to do is hop over onto Google and type in... Anyways, so you go over to uh, the top link here, which will bring you to Connectify's website, which I'll leave a link in the description to, and you simply hit download. You don't buy it, you don't need to. Um, when you buy it, you just get extra features like being able to set a static IP, which won't really do you much because you'll just continuously get hit offline. And although um, you could just come right back online because it won't be your real IP they're uh, displaying, um, that's just a pain in the ass. 
Anyways, so uh, once you get Connectify, this is how you're going to make the mobile hotspot over onto your console. Uh, you're going to need a VPN. Now, you can use a VPN of your choice. You can use BetterNet if you want. Um, today, I'm going to be using my own VPN, um, which is the NFOs and OVHs we sell. Um, if you guys want to purchase NFO or OVH, uh, the Skype's on the screen and it'll also be in the link description. You guys can just go message me. Um, I respond pretty much straight away. Um, yeah, they're very cheap. All the prices will be in the link description or in the description below. You can check it out. If it sounds like something you're interested in, you want to pick up an NFO or OVH, you know, you've been looking around, you haven't been able to find one. Um, that's the prices. Very simple. Um, yeah, so uh, if you want to pick one up, that's where you can get it. Uh, to my knowledge, I don't think there is any websites out there that are selling NFOs and OVHs yet. I think they're all just, you know, your standard VPNs. Um, OVHs and uh, NFOs are made through uh, VPSs and stuff like that, in which obviously I have my own VPS. Um, so that's how I can run these servers. But um, yeah, I don't think there's any actual companies selling them just yet. But uh, if you guys want one, um, that's what I run. I have yet to be hit offline, so obviously it's very secure. And uh, yeah, so if you want one, uh, feel free to go check that out. So uh, that's what I'm going to be connecting with today. Uh, so uh, I'm going to use Soft Ether VPN Climb Manager to connect my NFOs and OVHs. Uh, if you do pick one up from us, this is what you would have to use. Uh, don't use OpenVPN. OpenVPN will not... It will work, but it's just not... I tried using OpenVPN. It's a bit more... It's a longer setup process where this one you can just uh, type in the IP of the server, put in your username and password, which will send you... And then you can just connect straight away where an open VPN, you have to go through the settings and make sure everything's set up all right. It's just a pain in the ass. Anyways, so what you want to do um, when you have these two things, uh, your VPN of your choice and Connectify, uh, you just want to open up the VPN and then uh, you'll see your VPNs or uh, for you, maybe it's just a big old blue button that says connect and you can select your location. Um, you just select your location and hit connect. So uh, I'll go the New York NFO. So I'll hit connect. Uh, I'll say my assigned IP. You can hit uh, just like that. And now we're connected to the NFO. So uh, before we go anywhere, we're just going to open up Google quickly here and go into Google and type in what's my IP. Let that load. It's taking a little second now because we're now we're connected to the NFO, so uh, the data is being transferred in two places. So it's kind of weird. Uh, let's try that again. Yeah, you're never gonna get a speedy, fast connection right after you connect to a VPN because uh, one second ago your IP was going straight to the internet browser. Now you have a different IP, so it's like. It kind of messes with the system, but don't worry about that. So we're just going to type in, uh, what's my IP? And it's 192.223.31215. Where is my uh, soft ether? As you can see, uh, that is the exact same as my VPN. So we know the VPN is connected, 192.223.31215, which is the same as my public IP address. This, this is what everybody else sees. Um, pretty sure if I click on this website, yeah, it'll say I'm in... Uh, New York City uh, with my ISP being a nuclear follow enterprise um, Nuclear follow enterprise, uh, which is obviously what an NFO is So we know the VPN is connected where uh, we can just push this over to the side and uh, Now we just have to uh, start up the hotspots. We just want to open up connectify here Which should uh, take a second uh, I highly suggest uh, just keeping this open that way, uh, if you're playing a line and you realize you start lagging really badly, uh, the VPN may have just disconnected. Um, sometimes, if you don't have like a stable uh, network, sometimes your Wi-Fi just cuts out for a second or whatnot. Um, you just want to watch it. Our servers don't cut out. Uh, I at least I've never experienced that. I don't know if it's just because I have a strong uh, internet connection. Um, I don't know, but it just has never cut out on us. Um, there we go. So. Uh, Let's let this load. There we go. So this is what Connectify looks like. Um, I have uh, uh, my my, my gaming PC. The PC I'm on right now has like a theme. 
because it's an Alienware and has like this weird theme on it. So that's why this program looks a bit weird, but uh, yours probably won't look like this. Uh, anyways, so um, when you open it up, it will automatically go into Wi-Fi uh, hotspot. Uh, internet to sh it will say no internet sharing what you want to do is select the only one that's blue so you just click that and you see this is the only one that's uh, has like a blue little icon so you just want to click that uh, leave this unrooted you can't change the hotspot name unless you pay for the pro version if you want to change uh, change the name uh, feel free to buy it um, uh, the password I'm just gonna leave that as Nova 6 gaming I'm allow internet access and allow local network ask, uh, access uh, and then you can just hit start hotspot and uh, I got a little notification on my other monitor here saying the hotspot has started so uh, as you can see uh, it says ad blockers disabled uh, privacy monitoring uh, don't worry about seeing uh, this little area here it says your IP address is exposed and your location is exposed the only reason why I'm saying that is because uh, they want you to click this link and buy their VPN that they provide that's all it is. That, that they're just trying to get uh, some money out of you. Um, but you can obviously just use your VPN. As you can see, there's a check mark. Meaning, if I were to go on my console now, go over to my network, and uh, click on that, uh, you'll be able to just connect straight to the VPN, and then you can just go play. Um, I'll turn on my console and uh, connect to the network just to show you that uh, you can do it. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, but that, that is pretty much it. The rest is, uh, you know, just connecting. My KV is banned on my console, so I'm actually not going to be able to fully connect, but uh, I'll be able to get past the first tab, which will allow me to display the IP of the console, which will prove that the VPN did connect. Um, anyways, so if you guys want, you know, this is another VPN in here. It's called Speedify. If you want to, you know, get that, you can. Um you know it's completely up to you you can use any vpn i'm just letting you know if you really want an nfo or ovh and you just don't know where to get one you can get it in the link description below we always respond and uh yeah so that's pretty much the tutorial the rest of the video i'm not really going to talk over because i don't really need to it's pretty self-explanatory you you know click on your network settings on your playstation 4 xbox one playstation 3 whatever it is and then you type in the password that you created in my case it was nova 6 gaming and then you just connect and it will connect you just as a normal router that's all we made we made a fake little router and it will connect and you will get this ip that way you can go online um depending on your vpn will difference uh your lag in the games if you're running a very cheap vpn you're probably going to get a lot of lag in the game um, a bit more expensive VPNs, you're gonna get like IP vanish and that you're gonna get a lot better of experience um, Obviously because you're paying more so they spent a little bit more money on these servers um, Anyways, so with all that being said uh, enjoy the last little clip. I'm gonna speed it a little bit here But uh, you guys you guys get the point um, I'm using teapot um, as the stealth um, I may actually even throw another key vault on my uh, console to uh, just show you that you can connect to uh, Xbox Live. Actually, I will. I'll throw another K Vault on there. Anyways, hopefully this guy uh, this helped you. If you have any more tutorial ideas or something you want to learn how to do, or there's a certain program that you need help working with for your RGH or JTAG, put in the comments down below. And since I'm a small channel, uh, I read all the comments, so yeah, every comment you post really does uh, give me some uh, ideas of videos to make. So. Uh, like I said, if this helped you, like the video, hit the subscribe button. As always, guys, stay awesome.